Well, with uh, with cartoons, I do believe that um, that you know most of these cartoons uh, have a much bigger effect when they're uh, full of color. And a lot of times, I would um, I would uh, watch you know well, most of the cartoons I would uh, watch uh, were way before my time, uh, from the '30s to the '70s. Sometimes, say uh, even the '30s, they would have uh, colorful cartoons. But at the same time, when I see black and white cartoons. I see them a little bit um, differently oftentimes. Now, when an, in animated flicks, you can see how they, they talk as well. Actually, kind of remember, you know, watching Popeye where, where there were some cartoons where they speak, but they don't really move their, their mouths as much. It's so silly and so funny. And oftentimes, uh, I get kind of confused about, about that where whenever they're even like talking, and, but their mouth doesn't really move as much. It was kind of confusing, but at the same time, it was uh, still pretty fun because of how, you know, silly and, and you know, the action can be so, you know, out there and such with um, with Popeye. I can definitely say that it can be, uh, you know, learning examples when it comes to you know, learning characters that have mouth movements or learning characters that have, have, that don't have mouth movements. But, uh, but it's definitely not uh, just uh, animation or, or it's just not cartoons that's now that's really make a difference. I want to mention this because this is still a topic about color, but it's also even live uh, action uh, now that said uh, that have very bright colors. What do I mean by that? Take for example Sesame Street. It has uh, it has uh, a lot of color into them too, especially with uh, the Muppets that they use too. I will say that's one of my you know, first words besides um, besides uh, you know dad or mom or papa or, or mama. Uh, one, you know, one of my other first uh, words uh, was, you know, was this, Elmo. That was one of my first uh, words. Why? Well, because, for one thing, Elmo's uh, fur is red. And red is one of my favorite colors. So that's, uh, so that's, why I wanted to, um, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to, uh, wanted to say Elmo and just try to you know, project it uh, as well. And at the same time, seeing, you know, seeing the uh, people, the actual people in Sesame Street, uh, knowing how to form the words out whenever they uh, say Elmo or Zoe or Cookie Monster or anything like uh, that.